Hi guys, our broad area is microeconomics. Okay, microeconomics and the topic is perfect competition. We know what is market, then classification of market, then meaning of perfect competition and also features, characteristics or assumptions of perfect competition. Okay, please watch previous videos. Now you can see the title. What is it? Market equilibrium under perfect competition. A diagrammatic representation. Okay, very important topic. And also, demand curve of the firm. Right. Previous video, we have a brief topic. But this topic is subsequent sections. Right. Firms in equilibrium, short run equilibrium, then long run equilibrium, and so on. Right. So, what do you mean by equilibrium? Equilibrium is the situation where, you know, two opposing forces. In our case, we know that demand and supply, both are equal. Okay. Equilibrium is the point where demand is exactly equal to supply. Demand and supply are equal. Excess demand, excess supply is equal. Right. That is the situation where, you know, the price at which demand is equal to supply that is the equilibrium price and that quantity is known as you know equilibrium quantity now you can just recall the important features of perfect competition what is it large number of buyers and sellers okay in our previous videos that is very very important large number of buyers and sellers that means you know no individual firm can influence the market price. That is the key word. Similarly, no buyer can influence the market price. That is also very, very important. Okay. The price is given. Or simply we can say the market price is determined by market forces. That is, you know, demand. Okay. And supply. Isn't it? No more confusion. Very confusion. Demand and supply intersect and interact. You can cut the point. You can cut the market equilibrium city. Okay. Then the question is that you know what is market demand and what is market supply? Okay. And the code and down these topics are going to be able to do this. Okay, market in the classification, then perfect competition, other my features. Now, the diagrammatic representation of market equilibrium as well as you know firm's equilibrium. Okay, then I will have a brief delay. So we can simply say what is demand? You know, in the case of market equilibrium, we will take the demand of all the buyers. Okay. All the buyers, you know, infinite buyers are there. Okay, infinite number of buyers and infinite number of sellers that we have discussed. But market in the demand determines another individual buyer. Can you buyer in a lingual consumer perspective? Demand in the way. A very price. This price is the revenue to the firm. A firm, a will pay the the Veriman, receipt, and that is also price. That is, you know, the demand of all the buyers taken together. Number of Dimitri Rikanala buyers in the demand, and also supply of all the firms taken together for what? To determine the price where, you know, demand is equal to supply. Okay, so the industry supply curve or market equilibrium first time industry industry. Okay, industry led demand and supply. Then after that, we will discuss in you know, a firm's demand curve. Right. So the industry supply curve is very, very important. It's industry leading a market in the supply curve and the other is the horizontal summation of the supply curves of the individual firms our market illa industry illa ella sellers in the firms in the supply curve in the agathuga and horizontal summation on the industry with a supply curve similarly what is the demand curve the industry demand curve is the horizontal summation of the 
demand curves of the individual buyers okay the sentence like okay supply match to demand a cup firms in the background that consumers or customers or buyers now we can just draw the market equilibrium or industries equilibrium diagrammatically okay diagrammatic representation okay listen very carefully we can set the uh, industries equilibrium like this you know okay now already you know the parent turned it you know the curve where come on the you know axis is a correct that you know mentioned here oh x axis here we can take you know quantity of output we can simply say output or q in the copper right here or y axis we can see price right then now you know the demand curve of the industry under perfect competition perfect competition demand curve in the demand in the representation the demand shows the relationship between price and quantity of commodity that is in a quantity I'm a very inverse relationship on the camera so downward sloping demand curve okay demand curve is like this downward sloping okay price good on the um demand korayam price korayam bo demand good i'm already a party so getting a little bit of a put here topic on the la we know that but number exam any question so they can be really they'll another explain sir downward sloping demand curve then what about supply curve supply curve you know industrial supply curve and then horizontal summation of the supply curves of the individual firm some area then you know the supply curve that i can draw with a different color see we can take green color you can easily understand see supply curve okay supply curve in a slope and then upward sloping on a upward sloping supply curve demand curve in a slope and then a downward sloping on then what is the equilibrium position you know equilibrium position where you know demand is equal to supply okay demand and supply intersect to change the point where we can measure the point like e then in which this is the quantity okay see this is the quantity i would like to say q and see this is the price equilibrium price we can simply say p okay very simple simple it number can represent here this is the you know industries equilibrium okay upward sloping supply curve downward sloping demand curve are the intersect to in the point in the you do price the demand you know then quantity of output in the demand you know he price in a moment will become the equilibrium price under perfect competition related to industry or market equilibrium and this quantity is the equilibrium quantity okay in a number car in the recovery and the individual firm in a sum of the chart and I'm gonna large a number of buyers and sellers on a homogeneous product and identical product on a entry and exit and on a free on a no restrictions on a government intervention silly like price takers on a more than that and on a individual firms a price taker on a individual buyer man on a price taker on a अबरे का प्राइस से लो उन्हें तारे तेलो ला इन्फ्लुएंस से चाहिए आने में कड़ी नहीं है। सो डी प्राइस इस सेट बाय डी इंडस्ट्री यूजिंग डिमांड एंड सप्लाई एंड हियर यू नो डी पॉइंट ई रिप्रेजेंट्स डिमांड इज इक्वल टू सप्लाई दिस पॉइंट रिप्रेजेंट्स यू नो डिमांड इज इक्वल टू सप्लाई। सी ड the reply market is like a one letter it is another then demand curve and supply curve and so on now you know the price is given now you can just draw the individual demand curve you know we can just take the individual demand curve like this you know okay isn't it now where confusion on the letter simple topic on a good then explain say and officially or x axis again you know output that is q or quantity then over the axis we can see price okay now you know the price is given okay market telling industrial set to the villa are you gonna individual seller firm it is given okay price then this is the p right okay firm in the villa you better put the robot on industrial determines either can again individual firm and they know up at the robot accept you know पत्ते रूपा पाती नौ ना अकानू कर रही है लेकिन पाती नौ ना क्या लंदा ने बायेस ने फुल ला कस्टमर्स ने फुल ला नाश्ता पड़ा ओम्बदे रूपा एक रूपा आकुल लगाना था अननेसेसरी आईटी इंदना ह्यूज लॉस फेज़ है ये ना तो कारण तुरकुम 
firms are not existing firms. Pin identical product and homogeneous product. Are. Okay. So, we have a simple item. See, individual demand curve means uh, firms accept the demand curve. This is the you know, demand curve of the firm. Demand curve of the individual firm. Okay. Then, what is the nature of this? Individual demand curve of the firm, firm in the demand curve in a it is it is in a perfectly elastic. Okay, perfectly elastic is very important. Perfectly elastic. That is why you know the shape of the demand curve, you know, horizontal straight line. Okay, he points in not a horizontal straight line. Okay, no more confusion. Horizontal straight line. That means you know. At this price, okay, this is the quantity of the firm. Okay, demanding horizontal straight line. Quantity quantity of the Q1, Q2, Q3. This is the quantity of the firm. Okay, the firm is the market. Okay, firm is the market. Okay, the market is the market. Okay, the market is the 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 Market like the firm in the end of the year. Okay, no problem. Okay, so here you know this is the price which is given that determined by the intersection of demand and supply in industry, and this is the demand curve of the firm. Okay, a firm of is in the demand curve. Then that is more important. You know, this demand curve is equal to average revenue of the firm under perfect competition okay our shape of the average revenue curve of the firm under perfect competition that is also straight line and this also represents you know marginal revenue curve of the firm and which is also you know price okay this is very important okay demand is equal to average revenue which is equal to marginal revenue which is also equal to price Okay, then you can the next video explain the total revenue, then average revenue, then marginal revenue. After that, we will discuss the shape of the average revenue curve and marginal revenue curve and the relationship between average revenue, marginal revenue, and the total revenue. We will discuss that is also very, very important. Okay, then we know in short format, you know, what is revenue? Revenue and the concept and revenue is the income of the firm from selling its output. Okay, if a firm will pay the pick and the will come all a firm will receive in a firm in a cut and the cash and the receipt and the income and the revenue. Then total revenue means total receipts. Okay, to total receipts or total income from the sales or uh, when it is sells its products. Okay. Total revenue. Simple it am total revenue that is TR, which is you know P into Q. P means price of the commodity and Q, you know, quantity of output. Okay, total revenue is equal to P into Q. Now we show the mighty next video. Then average revenue. Okay, average revenue means total revenue divided by the quantity of output sold. TR by Q. That means Average revenue that we can write on like this. Average revenue is equal to total revenue one and the P into Q. Okay. Total revenue which is equal to P into Q. P into Q. This division. Then again you know denominator but a Q. Only. Then you know this Q and, and this Q will be cross. I'm going to cross. Then you know average revenue is equal to price. Here you know average revenue which is also equal to price. A very firm in the price and the name. Buyer summoned the chatolum, I will demand represent a price villa. A buyer would come the villa. This price represents, you know, the revenue to the firm. A firm will come the southern till villa and the price in the man's lacquer. Then next one, you know, I'm okay, just a the marginal revenue. Marginal revenue means addition to total revenue that generated by the firm when it sells an extra unit of output. Okay, or unit code that will come ball. Total revenue will go into where in the mat addition to total revenue. Okay, that is simply we can say change in total revenue divided by change in Q. Okay, three carrying elements like then under perfect competition, you know, individual firms in the demand cover on horizontal straight line. That also we can say 
demand curve that is which is equal to average revenue that is also equal to margin revenue which is also equal to price then average revenue in the marginal revenue in the shape and then a perfect competition a horizontal straight line okay then total revenue on the average revenue on the average revenue is also equal to price okay then revenue in the original concept like in the price average revenue which is also equal to price then margin revenue that is you know change in total revenue divided by change in q okay we three concepts in england and slender our symbol on it but very important on it industry in the equilibrium then we firm in the demand curve individual demand curve i individual demand curve in the Protect the average revenue, which is also equal to market revenue, which is also equal to price. Okay, there are monopoly or any monopolistic competition. Like very important, you can see symbol item in okay, uh, revenue. Okay, this is the average revenue and which one is you know margin revenue that we will discuss okay then downward sloping and then margin revenue lies below average revenue that we will discuss in the coming se uh, sections but here you know perfect competition and then average revenue in the shape and the channel horizontal straight line on a margin revenue in the shape and then the channel and then a horizontal straight line on a demand curve in the shape and then a horizontal straight line that is in a perfectly elastic demand curve on another them when it's like okay well any more than on a man it's like it and it's a yeah but it's a to body cup okay in the coming video we will discuss total revenue average revenue then margin revenue okay see you happy learning thank you